Thanks for checking out the video today, guys. Uh, today I'm unboxing my CNC S3040 CNC from China. Um, it shipped in a pretty big box. Uh, it was very well packed. Uh, <clears throat> and I paid four ninety-eight. I think is what I paid for it. Um, so just under 500 bucks. Uh, it came with pretty much everything you need to get started. Um, except for a computer, of course. You have to connect it to a PC, either a laptop or a desktop. Um, I purchased the one that had the USB connection because I thought it would be easier. Uh, however, um, it's only compatible with Windows 2000 and Windows XP. Uh, that's the controller box for it. Uh, like I said, it came pretty well packed. Uh, it had a plywood box as opposed to cardboard for all the accessories. Um, came with all the cables and everything and some hold down slash clamps. Uh, those I really wasn't too impressed with. Um, they do the job, but they don't do it well. Uh, and the bed size on it is about 400 millimeters by about 300 millimeters, which works out to just over 15 inches by about 11 and a quarter. Uh, so it's got a pretty decent bed size for doing small jobs. Um, and I'm also working on making a bed for it. Uh, it's got a T-slot bed on it. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty good machine. It came pretty much pre-assembled. The only thing I had to connect here, of course you can see I'm connecting some of the wires up. Um, and then you have to connect it to the... Uh, power supply slash controller box uh, via a serial cable uh, or a comm cable, something like that, and then you connect it to the PC via a USB cable. Uh, here are those clamps. Um, they aren't real good. Uh, like I said, they, they hold the work in place, um, but they don't do a great job. Came with wrenches and stuff for changing out and adjusting the collets and tightening those. Uh, all in all, it's a pretty decent machine. There's the collet it comes with, which is an 8th inch collet. Um, I bought a set of R11 collets for it uh, that go all the way up uh, to a quarter inch. Here is one of the first projects that I did on the CNC. It's a pick guard for a guitar. Um, it's made from 3 millimeter thick PVC. The machine doesn't have any problems cutting that stuff out. It just whizzes right through it. Uh, as you can see here, I attached a spoil board, which is something I definitely recommend that you do. Um, also come up with some good ways of clamping stuff down. I just used screws uh, attached to the MDF, and uh, it was kind of a disaster. It wasn't very well thought out. Uh, I see here in just a second why. Um, also, the piece of PVC I used wasn't real flat. Um, I definitely recommend that you use a good, nice, flat stock for whatever you're doing. Uh, right there, it just comes disconnected and isn't cutting the pick guard anymore. And this is kind of dangerous the way I did it. Uh, it could have hit a screw, sent a piece of metal flying. Um, you see the pick guard came completely detached. Here's attempt number two, which um, I did in multiple passes and had it attached a little bit better. Kind of thought it out a little bit better. Um, but once again, three millimeter thick PVC is, is nothing for this machine. It can handle it real well. So if you work with a lot of uh, plastics, this machine does pretty good. <coughs> Here's a piece of black walnut, uh, and interestingly enough, this machine does better with uh, black walnut, which is fairly hard, fairly dense, than it does with pine. Um, the pine that I did um, had a lot of chip out, a lot of rough edges. Um, you can sand those off, of course, but uh, the less sanding, the better. That's part of the reason why you use a CNC, is you want everything to come out nice and smooth. Um, but in the case of pine, it doesn't always work out that way. A lot of tear out, chip out, things like that. But with black walnut, uh, you just have to adjust the speed rate, or the feed rate right. Um, and everything comes out pretty smooth with that. Now one thing I do want to mention with these inexpensive CNCs from China is the version of Mach 3 that they come with. Um, for controlling the CNC is not upgradable. Uh, you can't download a newer version um, at all. I don't even think you could buy a newer version of Mach 3 or Mach 4 and use it with this machine because you'd have to upgrade the firmware and the firmware uh, is non-upgradable on these machines. Um, from what I understand, if you try to upgrade it, um, the machine doesn't work anymore. Also, they don't come with any kind of 
design software. So you'll either have to find some free software, something like uh, Inkscape. Um, I used a couple of other free programs uh, to start out with, and they really don't work all that great with this machine. Um, I purchased uh, Vetrix Cut 2D software, and I am thoroughly impressed with that. The G-code comes out uh, just about perfect every time. Um, very few errors in it, well, never any errors in it that cause the machine to hang up. Uh, it's also very easy to use. Uh, it's what I've been using for the past several months now, and uh, it's a great piece of software. Now, you do have to pay for it, um, but it's worth the money that you spend. Uh, and that's something that uh, I definitely think is worth mentioning. On a low-cost CNC like this, um, you are going to have to spend a little bit of money on your uh, CAM CAD software. Uh, there's several different things that you could use with this machine. And like I said, I like Vetrix, and I use Vetrix Cut 2D because it's affordable and works great for the projects that I do. Um, I'm only doing... Um, parts of things which um, that's basically what cut 2d is for thing about this machine is the fact that you've got to keep the uh, linear rods and the lead screws clean um, if they get any kind of dirt build up on them uh, they will cause the machine to hang up and it seems like it's a uh, software glitch at first uh, but uh, then when you realize what's going on, it's just the, the lead screws and the linear rods are dirty. So I keep a brush handy to keep those clean, and uh, I try to oil and grease those about once a week. And I clean the linear rods and the lead screws just about every time I use it. So you definitely want to keep those nice and clean and uh, keep the machine running well. Also, as you can see here, I've got a full-size Les Paul-style guitar body uh, that I'm routing out. Uh, the bed will fit a full-size guitar body on there without any problems, but you can't CNC a full-size guitar body. Um, it's just not big enough to do that. It can only do about 11 by 15. Now, uh, it's about the max size that it could do, so not going to be able to cut out a normal-looking guitar <laughs> Other videos of doing other things as well. Um, do some sign making with this CNC. Uh, I'm also going to do a video about five upgrades that you should make. Um, one of which, as you can see, is dust collection. Uh, this thing puts out a lot of chips and a lot of dust, um, and it makes a big mess. You'll have that stuff flying all over your shop. It'll be. It's always all over the floor and all over the bench that it's sitting on. It's not just contained in the machine itself. Alright guys, thank you for checking out today's video. As I'm just getting started with this channel, if you could do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe to this video, that would be awesome. Um, also, leave a comment below. That would really help me out as well too. Thank you so much. Goodbye.